Hi, I'm Barry, and this is the Hover Air X1 pocket sized self flying camera. <laughs> Be good. Bug. <laughs> Hi, as I said, I'm Barry from Photographer's Freedom. Now, normally I am doing videos about Nikon DSLR cameras such as the Nikon D5200 or D3500, doing tutorials and gear reviews and all that sort of thing. But today I am reviewing the Hover Air X1 pocket size self flying camera. Straight up, I'm not being paid for this review, but the nice people at Zero Zero Robotics sent me the drone to try it out and I have been doing that. I've been putting it through its paces, learning all the settings, trying out all the flight modes, and I'm going to take you through all of those today. This thing is going to level up your social media content. From my point of view, it's really going to help me create a lot more visually entertaining YouTube videos and I'm excited to see what I can do with this thing in the future. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna take you through some of the flight modes, all of the features, show you what it does, show you how to work it, now, as good as this thing is, it does have its faults, and I'll go through those later on in the video. Right now, let's take a close look and see what it can do. The first thing you will notice about the Hover Air X1 is its size. This thing takes up less space than my phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra in an OtterBox case, and as you can see, the Hover Air is actually shorter than my phone and also about twice the thickness. It also weighs less than my phone. This thing weighs just 125 grams and it fits in your pocket. If you want to learn more about the Hover Air X1 at any stage, there are links down in the video description where you can check it out. Now to get the Hover Air ready to fly, all you gotta do is unfold the wings here. You can see that the propellers are nicely, safely enclosed in this plastic cage. So it's perfectly safe to fly around other humans and objects. All you have to do to get it started is to to long press the power button for about two seconds. The green light will come on on the front. You'll hear a confirmation Art tone. The lovely polite English lady will tell you what mode you are in and it's ready to go. To make it fly, all you have to do is short press the power button. 30 seconds. Hover. And wait a little second and away it will go. To get it to land, all you have to do is put your hand about 20 centimeters underneath the drone and it will land safely in your hand. You can also land the drone by tapping land inside the Hover app. As I just said, there is an app for your phone that you can use to control the drone, but you do not need it in order to fly it. You can cycle through all of the flight modes simply by pressing the mode button here on top of the device. So a simple short press of the mode button will cycle you through all the different flight modes on the Hover Air. So you've got hover, hover zoom, out, zoom out, follow, follow orbit, orbit bird, eye, bird eye, and custom. And the lovely English lady tells you every time what mode you are in. Now the custom is where you will find new flight modes that are released with firmware updates and they are constantly releasing new flight modes. At the time of filming this video, in there you have dolly track or snapshot mode. You can also cycle through all the settings within each mode by long pressing the mode button. 60 seconds. So you hover. can change from 60, 30 seconds hover to 60 seconds hover. Five minutes hover. Five minutes hover. And a long press of the mode button in each flight mode will give you different settings. If you want to dive deeper into the settings though, you have to do that inside of the Hover app. So once you've downloaded the app to your phone and you've connected it to the Hover Air via Bluetooth, you can tap Hover Settings and then all the flight and general settings are in here. Now depending on the flight mode that you're in, you can set the shooting mode, whether it's doing video or stills, the altitude it will fly at, the flight duration, the distance it will fly from you, etc. You can also turn on vertical video for your stories or your reels or your TikToks or whatever. So let's take a look at the video settings that you can have on the Hover Air X1. 
You can see in the video quality settings screen here, we have 1080p, 30 frames per second plus HDR, which is what I suggest you use most of the time. 1080 at 60 frames per second for that nice slow motion footage. 2.7K at 30 frames per second. And it also takes 12 megapixel stills or five megapixel stills if you select the HDR option in there. Okay, this is hover mode and I'm recording the audio through the Hover Air app, through my Deity wireless mic. And as you cannot hear, there is no drone sound. Within the app, it removes the sound of the drone and you get this perfectly smooth audio. And it'll also follow me, as you can see, it follows me wherever I go in hover mode. This is a close follow mode set to a flat shot. So it'll follow me at about head height. And I can also run if I want to, and it will still keep up with me. <laughs> kind of stalky. That's follow mode. This is bird eye mode. <laughs> and I've got it set to a height of 15 meters. So it's flying up 15. It'll do a bit of a spin and then it'll come back down. So this is orbit mode and I've got it set to a distance of four meters. So it's flown out four meters from me. It's gonna do a full 360 and I don't have to follow it. Obviously I don't have to watch it. It'll just go around me. I can face whatever direction I want. I can move around. And once it's done, it's 360. It'll just stop and it'll fly back to me. This is the dolly track mode and I've got it set to high altitude and far so it'll stay this distance away from me. So this is going to be perfect for filming YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's just great. And now we get to the bad things. So okay, nothing's perfect, right? The first thing I want to talk about is the lack of 4K footage. Come on, Zero Zero Robotics, it's 2024. I understand this thing was designed for social media creators like Instagram, TikTok, that sort of thing. But us YouTubers, we need 4K video. So please, in future updates, could you add 4K video? Also, 120 frames per second, please. 60 frames a second is great, but there's nothing like the buttery smooth slow motion of 120 frames per second. So if you could add that in future updates, I'll be a happy man. In addition to those two things for us YouTubers, please add a flat picture profile. I don't want to deal with footage that is already saturated and, con and contrasted and sharpened to the max. I'd rather have a nice flatly contrasted image that I can take into my video editing software and play around with as I choose. And in addition to that, I would love the ability to be able to control white balance and exposure on the device. That would also be an absolute winner and I'm being beaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> One thing I did find to be not very good with this is the dynamic range at when you film at 2.7K. The skies are always blown out and there is really, really bad chromatic aberration in the footage. If you're gonna shoot 2K with this, I would do it in a shadowy area where you can't see the sky because otherwise you're just going to have blown out skies. Now the battery time on this thing is just 10 minutes. All you get is 10 minutes of flight time, which is not too bad. You can film quite a lot of footage during that time, but I would love for the battery life to be increased a little bit. Please, Zero Zero Robotics, in future, can you try to increase it to maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, that would be really nice. Another thing that I really wish would happen with this is this tiny, you can see the lens at the front there, if the camera will focus on it. Now, when you turn the device off, that stays there right at the front, out there in the elements, and it's front heavy. So if I drop this thing, it's gonna drop face down on the ground, and that little lens is exposed to the elements. What I would really love is for that to tuck in underneath when you turn the device off so that it's protected and we don't scratch that lens. Another thing about this drone that is a little bit bad but it's not a game changer is the fact that you can't fly it in strong winds. Obviously this is a very light device so you can't fly it in very windy areas. Thank you kookaburras, they're telling you that you can't fly it in the wind. And you 
You can't fly over water or other shiny surfaces. You cannot fly it off the edge of cliffs. So sorry, you're not gonna get those really nice smooth pans around the edges of cliffs. And it has trouble with uniform colored ground. So like uh, carpet indoors the other day, which you probably shouldn't fly it indoors, but I was. <laughs> it was having trouble with the carpet in one room because it was just a uniform color. And you also can't fly it in the dark. So sorry, no nighttime shots. So that is the Hover Air X1 from Zero Zero Robotics. Overall, it's a really great little tool to help you with your social media content creation. I've been having a great time using it, as I said. I love the footage it creates. I love the angles that it creates. It's just gonna level up my content. So if you wanna check out more about it, there are links in the video description. Until next time, I'm Barry from Photographer's Freedom. You get out there, take some wicked shots, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.